Good morning. It's travel day. Oh, so excited. <laughs> We're actually at Premier Inn. We had the worst night's sleep ever. We're on the 10th floor, so if you ever get designated the 10th floor for your room, say absolutely not. Um, I know they can't control the weather, but there is a drip that lands on our windowsill, and I think that's what it is. It just tick, 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 all night. And it's not like a nice little pitter-patter on the window, because I like that. This was just horrible, wasn't it? We both got up separate occasions to see what the hell it was. It was like a flapping, or I don't know, it was horrible. So we haven't slept, we're quite grumpy, aren't we? We're very trying. tired. <laughs> very tired. Even my throat's really croaky. Anyway, we've got to go and check in our bag now. Head to the V-Room, have a bit of breakfast. And just relax before our flight. Because later on, we're going to Disney World. Oh boy! <laughs> it's windy and cold. So here you can see, there's the premiere in. North Terminal, and we've literally walked along here. We're supposed to cross there, but we were bad. And then you go up this travel later, and that's the North Terminal where the Virgin checking desk is. Typical English weather. Okay, we're gonna go up into these lifts to level two. We're flying with Virgin. There we are. See, we could have done this last night if we did the Virgin Twilight check in, but we just missed it. So we went straight for grubbage. We're in the V room now. It's nice and relaxing here because there's not a lot going on, there's hardly anybody here. We've just sat down to some breakfast, I've just got some pancakes. We found the whole security, not security, we did the premium and that was pretty cool, but the check-in was really, really slow. So we've only got maybe 45 minutes in here at most, but there we go. We've got lots of delicious hot food and you can just choose breakfast if you want. Or you can make your own. And then over this way. Got some jams and marmalades, pastries, croissants. We just had a croissant, it's very nice. To the right, we have cereals and some fruit, yogurt, the healthy options, the not so healthy options, but very delicious. So, we've got some games for the kids, keep the kids happy. An amazing view. See all the planes landing and taking off. And look at that weather, that is disgusting weather. Thank you for waiting, we're pleased to announce that the Mears 27 travelling to Orlando is now ready for boarding. There we go, we're being called to boarding. <laughs> we made it. Very busy. Very stressful actually. We only had about half an hour in the V room and we were caught aboarding, so probably we didn't make the most of paying for that. We should have got up earlier, but I don't think I could have. Nah. But we're here, we're in our seats. We've got like the double seats, so there's no one next to us. It doesn't mean we're at the back of a plane, so we will be last off. We're delayed. Again, I just said to Scott that every flight we've been on has been delayed with Virgin, isn't it? Something to do with cargo and the hole not being tied down. Nah, no, probably BS. Oh well. <laughs> I wanna get going. I'm tired. Nah, nah, nah. What you got there, Scotty? First of money. I've got myself a vodka and some pretzels. Just watching Downton Abbey at the moment. I'm not liking that this woman has reclined in front of me. It's literally that far away from my face. Okay, gang, so this is the same menu as we saw in September. But this time, we got the macaroni cheese. Because we're sat right at the back of the plane. We've got first choice. Boom, baby. It is actually, it's a biryani. So what did you get in the end? Mm. Want to show us? Wow, <laughs> that looks appetizing. Not, I went for the mac and cheese. Obviously, because I missed out on this in September. Wow. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> no good? Salty, did you put, oh my God. Okay. It's alright. The 
bit overcooked, but what is our fight food? Get in my belly. Oh, what happened? Run out of jet landings. Uh oh. Instead. Oh dear. <laughs> Not this again. You thought this again? Oh, actually, we're out of Angry Orchard. <laughs> so we're watching Abominable together, aren't we? Are you enjoying it? It's a long film, isn't it? But I suppose we've got time to kill, so it doesn't really matter. I'm enjoying it though, it's good. Well, we've got about an hour and 45 minutes to go. We've just been brought afternoon tea. We didn't get any tea through. Not big tea drinkers. So it comes with mozzarella, pesto, and tomato roll, which I shan't be eating because I don't like any of the ingredients. Apart from pesto. But underneath, there is a scone, jam, and proper Cornish rather clotted cream. I said I wasn't going to eat it, but it's not too bad actually. <laughs> I took the tomato out. It doesn't really taste of anything. Apart from pesto, and I like pesto, so it's like a pesto sandwich. <laughs> what do you think of it? Yeah, I, I don't particularly like it, but I can eat it. Yeah. Mozzarella doesn't really taste of anything. It doesn't. Oh. oh well. <laughs> I'm pretty. <laughs> I wish this person would put their seat forward. To I haven't put my seat back ever on a flight. I just think it's rude to me, we are. I don't much room I want to eat my food, I can't even leave the food. What the hell? Do you dare me to put this in in one? <laughs> so I don't think I could. Shoot, shoot. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. If you're a resident of Central Florida, I want to welcome you home. If you're one of our 75 million visitors, welcome to the city view. Please hold on to the handrail. The ATM is approaching the main terminal building. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're through. So we're going to find the Virgin drop desk because we've got some dollars to pick up, which I believe is on the A side, not the B side. So we got to find the fountain and go directly over it. Uh, it doesn't feel like we're here, but like I'm imagining this. A side. Over there you got the Universal Resort shop, Disney shop. Ooh, look at this mural. That's cool. Oh my god, it just changed. I thought it was a poster. Oh, I love that. Throwing it down. <laughs> oh, I'm excited now. Just got on the Magic Book Express. I'm just trying to find out how to find our room number because I've already checked in for the hotel. But we don't have to go to reception apparently. So hopefully this works because it'll be pretty cool if it does. We'll just use our magic bands or the app on the phone to get in the door the first time and then it'll be the magic band. Aha! There we go. Your vacation has started. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, we're here, we're here, we're here. Wow. Okay, let me out. Okay. Oh, look. Ooh. None of us can get the door. <laughs> One second. Right, I don't know where we're going, but I'm just gonna head this way. <laughs> Oh, it did work. <laughs> this is amazing. We've made it into the room. TV's playing. We've got some magical um, Mardi Gras beats. Where is it? Making. There's another magical moment. Look here. Coffee. Green tea. English tea. Ice bucket. Fridge! 
some storage. I don't know what I'm looking in there for. What I expect to find. Oh, it's so nice. Double sink. Have a look in the bathroom. Princess and a frog. It's a really low bath, isn't it? Disney shower gel and stuff. Yeah, I can touch my ankle, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> we got off the flight and we were really tired, weren't we? So we literally just flaked out in the room. So sorry for this silly ending. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our travel day. We're here at Port Orleans and we're just over the moon with the hotel, aren't we? It's amazing, yeah. It's so beautiful. So we'll see you tomorrow and we're off to Epcot. <laughs>